all remember the Vietnam War. Then it felt like something just jumped up and bit me. The good parts and the bad parts. Good parts being the rifles and the replica things that we can buy now, such as the XM177 by Double Bell. This thing looks awesome and you can see where the sort of M4 started developing from. This is sort of a style that you'd see from the Vietnam War with the short stubby magazine and the different features on this thing, making it an ideal starter rifle for anyone looking to get into airsoft and having that feel of the Vietnam War. The great thing about this rifle straight from the box is it's fully metal with your aluminium construction, apart from a few things like the grip and the handguard and the stock, which is in your polymer, which just makes it really durable and very nice and lightweight. The nice thing with this rifle is you can actually have these stubby magazines which you'd expect obviously from your Vietnam War, the iconic sort of style of them, however it's compatible with all your sort of M4 magazines anyway, so you can run this however you like. These are quite cool though, because obviously these are a high cap magazine in the short stubby version. Features to include straight from the box, I love this sort of muzzle on here, the nice look of that just gives it a bit of a different feel to your standard M4s, looks a bit like a silencer. Your iconic M4 handguard here, then moving down the aluminium shaft here, obviously you've got your iron sights at the front and the back, which are fully adjustable, and then you've got your iconic M4 select switch, which is in your safe, semi and fully automatic, as well as adjustable stock, which most of you would know is where the battery stored. Let's get the feel of this thing, let's have a few shots down the range, and see see if we can relive that Vietnam era. As you'd expect on your M4, magazine release just here. Working cocking handle with your rotary hop up system in there, get you the accuracy that you need. sort of feel of the Vietnam War with this thing. It looks pretty cool and I do like the stubby magazine. It just has that little bit of a different style than the standard M4. Straight out the box you saw that it was shooting some high 200 so that's pretty decent for what this thing is. And the look and feel of this thing is actually really good. The shots were actually really smooth but the motor actually had a little bit of kickback so it felt like it had some recoil on there. The only downer being that you won't be able to customise it because of obviously the front hand guard there. But you shouldn't really be too disappointed with that because you know what you're buying. A cool Vietnam style M4 rifle which is where everything began and evolved from there. Yeah, this thing's a nice little gem. Make sure to like and subscribe. See you on the next review. Thank you very much.